Yo. Okay, so. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to go back to something else, because we've been doing Pokemon for, uh, for quite a bit. Uh, let me, uh, let me just clear this. Okay, didn't even matter, it's already gone. Uh, my A button's not working, good. Well, now we're stuck in this menu. You did good, guys. Ah. Uh, Son of a bitch. Olive, move, please. Scooch, go. Somewhere. Okay, well, I figured there'd be troubleshooting. I could not get a controller to connect for the life of me. Okay, well, it is mapped. I don't know. I don't know. Press A button to exit. Well, good job, guys. Reset. Um, why, why, I was holding it because I was trying to show that I was hitting a button. Didn't matter. I don't know why. Well, well, hopefully the A button is working and that was just a fluke. Because I'll be damned if I want to go through the process of mapping a controller. For the 70th time, nothing. Project 64 refuses to use any controller, dude. Any controller. This, this, this program just hates everything. Oh, yeah, the A button straight up does not work. Okay, good. Okay, give me a minute. Let me try and find another controller. I'm running out of controllers. I have tried every controller I have. Olive, go. Go, scooch. Let's try this one. Oh, let's grab another one out the bin. We go and find a controller that works at some point. I I swear I trouble shot everything. It was working fine. Well, that was that sounded so promising. The 50 connect and disconnects. Yo, everyone. Olive, stop. Go. Oh jeez. Olive. Either stay up there or sit somewhere else for a minute. Okay, so everything is mapping. Try controller 64. It's essentially a, a, a controller. Up, down, left, right, up. Everything stays the same, of course, except these ones. Starts. Z. L R. Oh come on, dude! I swear to God, Project Sixty Four. It was working fine. I spent, I spent days making sure this worked fine. I don't have enough controllers to be spending hours on this. This sucks. Man. Yo, here's a piece of shit I haven't tried. Anyone remember the Steam controller? Ah, oh, this this thing is this thing is trash. Let's try this thing. Who the hell thought that that touch pads for for these were good ideas? What's the issue? It's not reading the A button for some reason on any controller. Don't know why. It maps fine, but the game refuses to accept an A button. Don't know why. But we're going to try this one. I have so many controllers, I swear. It worked perfectly fine every test I ran. I, I, I made sure that the randomizer worked. I made sure everything was fine. Oh, God, I realize how much I hate this controller. Oh, God. 
Oh, oh okay. Yo, it's 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 just controlling the PC. I I this thing does it's not. <laughs> Close the game. Fine. Let me go back to a different controller again. We'll try closing and restarting again. But I did that too. Uh oh, well, not on stream. Let's go back to uh go back to this one. I didn't hear the disconnect reconnect sound five times and just remap because what was the change the A and B button I think Whatever. up down left right down left right up down oh yeah C buttons B A start you piece of shit go back there we go okay Oh, now it just works. F me, dude. Okay, well, now that that's all done. A button's working, guys. I hate my life. Whatever. So anyway. So anyway. Oh, nope. We can only run down. So now it's not reading any other direction. Okay, hold on. I did map. I just mapped those, right? Up. Up. Down works. Okay, down is working. Olive, stop, please. After it's working, you can be a pain in my ass. Until then, what, what, what is it the dead zone? Is it reading everything is down? Let's go 50%. Nope. Okay, let's put that back because that's gonna screw me up. What was it on 20, 25? I don't know. We'll go 25. Okay, well, let's uh let's reset it. Open. Round two. Everything's mapped. Reset it. It should work fine, right? Start works. That's good. A works. Good. What was that? You moved it to a direction. Do it again. Nope. Just down again. Okay. Oh, dude. I, I can't. It worked perfectly fine. Why? What do you want me to do? How do I change all this? Where is... Where, where is... where is controllers? There's a way to make it do a different controller thing, right? Ugh. Let's, uh... I mean, it worked fine yesterday. Let's, let's change the, the controller plugin. Okay, let's let's map it through this. Uh, why is it is it just auto? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well nothing's working now. Hold on, I don't know how to map these ones. It shouldn't be. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Up, left, right, down, start, A, B, left, right. Stop doing zero, or stop with the Y rotation. There we go. Stupid controllers. Okay, analog stick, control sticks, up, left, right, 
Okay. Smooth. Smooth, guys. Okay, let me just do one more thing. Where is... Oh, does this not have a dead zone control? Uh-oh. What do you mean you've never heard of this? I have streamed it like six times. I think that that might be dead zone. Anyway, anyway. So this game, it is... Happy birthday, by the way. This, this, uh, this game's 26th anniversary was yesterday. Oops, that's the wrong way. <laughs> this one. So... From the N64... I still have my mouse on the screen. Hold on. Get that off there. Okay, Olive. Everything's working. Be a pain in my ass. Go for it. So, um... The, the game was like... I have no clue what that is. It, it was like the old... The original N64's RPG. So... From the base game, you essentially are trying to save your father, something, something. You have, if the bottom left, you can see my, my, my four little elements. You have fire, earth, water, and wind. Um, you, you essentially, you gain more, uh, you, as you gain levels and collect elements and whatnot, you, uh, you increase your strength, you unlock new spells. Uh, these are my spells, by the way, they're all just empty. Aside from the base ones. Um, and yeah, you just kind of go along. You fight a bunch of elemental bosses as you try to find pops and good times to be had. So one of the things the randomizer does from what I tested is it renames a lot of shit. So all of these have like their base effect but they have random names to go along with them okay this one i don't remember what it's originally called i think it was just called like silver amulet or something like that yeah uh but my my base spell you can see underneath my mp bar this is my base fire spell which is normally fireball apparently now it's called silent sparks um and with that the, the way the randomizer works, from what I could tell, was that it mixes all the different spells together. Like the animations and the, uh, and like the, the, the effect itself, the, um, the icon thingy. Pick up the thing. Um, so everything is, is, it's a crapshoot for what, what's what. Normally, the best play, best play is go for water until you have healing and some other stuff. I don't know where healing is. All the spells exist in one of the uh, the spell trees, but not a clue. Also, you're going to learn the camera sucks in this game. Unfortunately, randomizer don't fix that. Because the, uh, the camera in this game essentially is... Wherever you look, I can hold B and focus in that direction. Other than that, though, it's uh, it just kind of stays behind you at all times. It's very generic. The Pro 9087. Huh. Interesting name. Um, as far as enemies, they are... Like, they're not randomized per se. Bosses are, but normal enemies are not. Okay. I'm just grabbing a few things before we go. Before we uh, we actually start fighting in that. So and the, this is this is initial town. It's uh, Mel Road. It's got good music. Also, I upscaled the best I could. Uh, old games don't like upscaling text, so... All the text still looks choppy, but that's just how life is, unfortunately, with this. Uh, so the first spell you unlock for each element is at level 4. 
where you would originally learn like level two of the base spell. So we have level three fire at this point. All we gotta do is get one level, we can level that up. But I really, really should see what the attacks are before we start investing into them. So as we leave the safety of our village, this is this is fighting music right here, guys. But this is danger. There you go. So I'm uh, I'm gonna just start and see how this goes. Okay. So fire level one is not an attack; it's silence. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That that really is bad, actually. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know what level two is gonna give me, but silence is not an attack. Let's uh, let's see what raging tosses. Okay. Well, they just showed me what wind cutter level one is. Uh, but this was a good one. So. It's it's the uh, the level one earth spell, but it's mixed with the uh, what looks like the top level wind spell. So it's shooting out like seven earth boulders. That could be worth leveling up for sure. We uh, we got we got to see dark wave all over again. Nah, I don't know if it's going to be that good. We, uh, let's see what water is first, so... I don't know. i go back to this. This is, like, my only attack right now. What? Water is silence, too. Okay. Every spell is silence in this game, apparently. Good. Worst case scenario, you don't actually need to use. You don't actually need to use magic. You can just smack shit. Also, the frame drops are, are part of the game. It's not not the emulator. I promise. It could be the emulator, but the actual game does that a lot, where it slows down during attacks. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna put another one into fire just to see what it is, but if it's not good, we're gonna invest into earth. It says guard embers. I have a feeling it's just gonna be defense boost. The, uh, the spell names are essentially random, too. It said ambiguous. Oh. Hmm. So here's the thing. Another fun one. So... Enemies have certain spells and that that they use. These enemies use fire level one by default. And that's the only thing they can use. Yeah, it's a defense boost. Which means they're essentially only option right now is to just spam silence on me. Eventually that's going to land. There we go. So now I can just smack him and that's it. So that means there are a lot of enemies that use fireball that are just going to silence me nonstop. Good. It's not cheating. I wish it was. Now, this guy, I want to say this guy uses water level two. So as much as I don't want to get hit, I want to get hit because I want to see what it is to know what we're investing into. <laughs> water level two is essentially water level one. I love it. Why does it have hippo teeth? Oh, it's it's supposed to be like alligator hippo or something. I don't know. Nah, his name is Big Mouth. But yeah, it, it's, uh... 
a lot of this is going to be learning what spells enemies have and just working around that. So we're going to start investing in Earth. Because Earth is basically our only good spell right now. I'm just grabbing a lot of... Uh, a lot of extra stuff as we go. I do know where majority of the uh, of the secret stuff is. Frozen throw. I have no clue what that might be. Might be ice knife. What do you mean? I love this game. I think it's ice knife, but without the animation. Now, when you say it sounds awful, do you mean like the like the actual audio or just the thought of it? Because I didn't do anything with the audio, I swear. The only thing that might be awful is the. Uh, like, getting past some of the bosses might be interesting. Memorizing what spells are swapped. I don't think it'll be too bad. The game doesn't actually have a large amount of spells. Um, like, there are a good amount. But I wouldn't say there's a ton. Uh, so the next spell you unlock is at level 7. So I'm going to push Earth up to 7, see what that is. At least I think it's 7 for all of them. I'm not sure. Nah, A button is attack. In the base game, there's uh, there's little reason to um, to use any element besides water and earth. Earth tends to be like the strongest element, and water has healing, which is just sustain. Fire tends to do a lot of damage, but earth um, earth in the long run has. Originally a move called Avalanche that does a ton of damage, but it's very random. Um, and then it also has a magic barrier, which just makes you immune to all damage. Which is going to be somewhere in there, but I don't know where. Also, we've been getting a lot of fresh bread, which is good, but I didn't think we'd... Like, I did some testing, and it didn't give us a ton. Um... Yeah, let's go here first. So I put items on double drop rate, because in the original game, you rarely got anything. And when I was doing the, the, the short little test, double didn't seem to do too much. But we've, uh, we've gotten, like, three breads just on the way here. Armored Roast. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> Not a clue, dude. Okay, while we're here, we're going to... Gonna go here, we're gonna save real quick, just in case. Uh-oh. What do you mean controller? Oh, no. Hold on. I swear I created a controller pack yesterday, too. Uh... 
actually don't know how to do it again. It's the input, right? Controller pack. Memory pack. What do you mean there is none? Oh. Oh, I have to select it? Uh... see if that works it should show the other test one nope ah uh, I hope this doesn't disappear by tomorrow hmm okay well so there's a bunch of items in the castle we're gonna skip that for now we'll come back afterwards We're just going to go to the first uh, quote-unquote dungeon. Complete in once, I wish. I would love to, but I don't think I'm physically able to. I'm not that good. I know what to do, but there's... Uh, I, guess, I guess it's a good time to talk about progression. Um, Armored Roast? Oh, it's defense break. Oh, you use rock level one. Um, so as far as progression goes, normally what you would do is you would fight the bosses, uh, retrieve their uh, their gemstones. And that's what would allow you to progress through the story. It doesn't necessarily tell you anywhere, but the gems that you retrieve from the bosses are essentially um, essentially like like trigger items that allow you to move forward. Without those, you can't really do anything. The items themselves are in random treasure chests and or from the boss itself. The, uh, the, the the test run I did of the of essentially up to like the first boss. Um, it was just in a random treasure chest beforehand. I could have just skipped the boss if I wanted. But we're looking for earth, earth jewel, earth gem, earth amulet. I don't know what the hell it is. Earth something. refuse to use this randomizer. Why? Why? It ain't that bad. Besides, I, I, you can always make the settings more generous. Okay, so the kobold uses fire level 1 and a wind move called cyclone. Uh, these two guys, the frog in the middle uses wind level 2 in Cyclone, the far right guy uses wind level 2 in a physical attack. So we're gonna see what wind level 2 does. I'm gonna try and avoid the other ones, though. Wind level 2 is wind level 1. Beautiful. That could not be better. <laughs> it just misses. That's, that's beautiful. I love that. So as long as I stay a decent distance, that they just can't hurt me. That's so good. I I think that's that's amazing. And this is where the camera fun starts. Like that tree, guys. It's a good tree. I I love that tree. My damage sucks still. <laughs> ah! Got a little too close. You can still avoid it just by moving a little bit, but. For the most part, it's pretty inaccurate. If they get close enough, it arcs back and hits you. Which 
just one guy. Good. Yeah, we gonna be spamming this one for a while. I'm just curious who the first boss is gonna be. I want to say probably the only... Mm, there's a few of them that could be pretty bad. Nepti as a first boss could be pretty rough. Uh, let's invest into Earth again. I never checked what locking power does, actually. I assume maybe attack break? I don't know. Okay, so he uses Wind Cutter level 1, which is... Th it's like Magma Ball, kind of? Uh, so the Maneater plant has water... It has healing, essentially. Uh, I want to check what this was. What? It's the healing animation on me. Luckily, it was trying to hurt me, though. That's confusing. It keeps missing. I don't know if, like... I'm kind of waiting, so I'm curious what it is. If it's missing this frequently, it's got to be a status move. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't do anything. I mean, I didn't, I didn't invest in water, so I don't even know what it is or what the name is. But that's the, uh, the, the healing spell is normally level 7 for water. I believe at level 10 you get your next spell. So I'm going to invest in Earth till 10. See what that is. Oops. Because this one, unfortunately, it's a really good spell. But I think because it's technically the level one spell, the base spell, I don't think the damage numbers are going to go up that much. So it's a lot of hits, but they're going to stay like super low, like single digit forever type thing. Olive. Okay, now we're holding the controller like this because Olive is... Essentially, yes. Because this spell is essentially Earth mixed with, like, one of the primary wind spells. Assuming it can't randomize the same spell effect twice? I don't know. I, I, I don't know how everything works with this one. Uh, we do, but there are technically two different versions of Silence. One is an AoE and one's a single target. So I uh, I don't use, I don't really care much for silence so I didn't test to see um, what did we say was uh, that wasn't it was it I think that one was it hold on fire was silence right okay so fire silence is the AOE one it missed the other two. Okay. Got it. Yeah, so we do have silence twice. We, uh... One of the, one's the AoE version, one's the single target.
Yo, Earth had healing? Nice. We found the heal spell, guys. At least the weak version of it. Oh, we cheating now. I didn't... I, I genuinely had no clue it was going to be an Earth. I, uh, I just really liked that starting spell, so I was investing into it for damage. <laughs> ah! I didn't mean to do that. I guess we're finding out what the level 10 fire spell is. Okay, who's our boss? Uh, who is that? That's Zels. That is Zels, okay. This is actually really bad. Um, let's heal up. So Zels is originally... He's originally the second boss you encounter, or potentially the second. He's the wind boss. So he has two attacks. The first one is a boss unique one, which is essentially like when it, it's essentially the rock move I have. Stop it, Olive. Um, that that's like the wind cutter thing or just a whole bunch of them start hitting. And then he has another one where for a close range. He does one really large wind cutter. Um or wind spell, which that one should be randomized to whatever it is now. And you spelled it wrong. There's an E at the end. Jeez. Amateurs. Uh, I can't get that close, though. Uh, this was defense boost, right? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so that spell is a bitch and a half to try and dodge. So I'm just going to soak it. Oh, he has a third move. I forgot about that one, guys. Uh, <laughs> shit. And that is, however, the best move because you can easily dodge it as long as he... Uh, if you stand, like, a certain distance away, he'll always trigger it without even attempting to move closer. And I screwed that up. Wait, what was... Is, is Large Cutter rolling rock with a Wind Cutter? It is. It totally is. I love that. Shit. Too close. Too close. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to take a chance at eating another one of those. We're just going to heal. Ow. Bitch. So the beauty of this rock move is... The original wind version of it, it, it's a homing attack. Which means I don't need to actually look at him to aim. Which is so nice. Uh, downside, we are doing straight ones. So this, uh, this might take a while. I, I, I don't know... HP wise what he has He should be scaled down to whatever the first boss would have but I don't actually remember how much he has either I want to say it's like maybe like 250 or something like that We can survive one more Ooh, dodged it. I don't want to heal yet We're being stubborn. Ow. Okay, hold on, heal. <laughs> ah! Okay. Screwed up. So you are able to end your turn without doing something. I'm going to try and smack him. 
Yo, 17. Uh yeah, we uh we go and tank him for a minute. We got a lot of bread from our, our fights. And this is doing way more than that earth spell. When it hits. Yo, he's dead. Good. You're a melee now. Two levels? Huge. Burning bolts. We'll get to see what that is in a minute. Okay, so now we loot. We loot. So we still haven't gotten the, uh, the progression item yet, unfortunately. So we still need to find that. Oi. I left the speaker pretty loud for that. I'll live. Hey. Hey. Oh. I'll turn the speaker down. Also, I don't know how the volume on the game is, but if it's too loud, just tell me. I don't think it is. It's set to whatever it was last time I played <laughs> Project 64 stuff. It's lowish. <laughs> like you always have. A lot of people tend to say my, 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 my game sounds are way too loud. I don't know, man. Okay, let's see what Burning Bolts is. I mean, it's the original Lightning, the homing arrows, but... It's... Oh, it's Fireball level 2. It's shooting two of them out. Okay. Uh, it is a fire spell, though, so it does do really, really good damage against these guys. It's the closest thing to a fire spell I have right now. In an old Avatar The Last Airbender fashion, fire and lightning are the same element, so... Classic. Okay, so... We did not get our progression items, so I think we have to go back to the castle. Back to the, uh, the last city we were at. And we're gonna go rummage through the, uh, the secret spots. See if we can't find our item there. Okay, fire's doing pretty good now. As, as we unlock the higher level spells, they're gonna do more damage, being higher tier magic. Um... It's just going to come down to, uh, you know, if they're actually good or not. Which, honestly, I'm kind of glad we got some of the status ones out pretty early. Because, like, if we had gotten silence later, where it took away, like, a really good spell instead, that would suck because it does no damage. So... Kind of nice to get that early on. We also got defense boost early on, which I don't believe has any kind of scaling properties. Um, so that's good to have for a low level spell. And of course, we got healing, which uh, swing. Shit hurts. I 
I gotta say, normally these guys are like some of the best ones to fight because their their normal attack is so easy to dodge, and they're considered, you know, higher tier for this little uh, field area. But my god, are they a pain in the ass right now? Oh yeah. More bread, good. I still feel like maybe double rate for the drops was a bit much. In theory, it's at least going to prevent me from dying too often, so we don't have to do too many resets. Maybe. Cheats. You are technically correct, it is cheats. Oh, I do want to check one other thing. So, part of the randomizer said that... Th this is Shannon, by the way. Uh, part of the randomizer said that it has a hint system where if you kill the boss, I believe, uh, she is supposed to tell me where to find the item in case I can't find it. Wow, what a bitch. Resides in a hidden place. I, th I assume I know what that means. But, uh... But, like, seriously, the hint is it's in a hidden spot. <laughs> if I- if I'm- if my guess is correct. Um... After you beat the first boss, the king here, he tells you there's a hidden spot behind his throne. Uh... Somewhere in all this dialogue. Anyway, you just, uh, oh, wait, do you need the orb to go into the, uh-oh. Okay, it only unlocks from the orb. It's not after killing the boss. Well, I guess we're going to rummage for a bit. Oh, look, the orb the king was looking for was in his room the whole time. Found it. Okay, so now that we have the orb, I bet you it lets me in. Yep. Nice. Please, please, please. So yeah, okay, so it was just in the king's bedroom. Also, blue wings. The wings still, uh... I never ran across ring wings in the original. The, my test run. They do still do what I thought they would do. Okay. So the wings teleport you to towns that you've been to normally. Um, in each town is a wing shop. Not, not food wings, but teleport wings. And they allow you to essentially quick travel back to places you've been. Um, this randomizer doesn't have the wing shop thing working, so they're all hidden, but I didn't think we would run across, like, future ones in the early areas. Because in theory, I can just skip a shit ton right now and just, uh, shit's a dying stone. Oh. That's defense boost. Okay. Like, I kind of want to test it, but I also, uh... Like, I don't know how much skipping that's gonna, that's gonna do for me. Oops, this way. Okay, so that's everything in the castle that I am aware of, I believe. There might be, like, one more thing, but I think that's everything. We're free, guys. Um, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna use magic to heal because... Magic experience. Uh, experience is very weird in this game, by the way. You, uh, you see, like, the percentages there? I have, I have no clue how, uh, how all that scales and how it doesn't. Oh, also, we're able to level up to 99 for each element if we want. 
original base game, you can only do 50. The only downside is you are limited to how many element levels you can get. I forget how many there are total. It's like 160 something. So uh, whether or not I want to invest everything into one spell, I don't know. Or one element. Welcome back, Olive. You were gone for like half a minute. Unlocking healing so early was great, dude. If we had leveled up any other element and not gotten healing, it probably still would have been fine with all the breads we're getting, but... Who knows? Okay, so this time we go in here, we go right. Should be one more like like smoke element thingy on the right side here. There it is. Okay, so we got our new spell is Searing Search. I think that's Scan, actually. Search is normally... Nope, maybe? It is Scan, okay. Hey, so we can now check hit points in that. Nice. That's actually really helpful. At least for bosses. I don't really care how much normal enemies have for HP. 28 is uh, not a lot, though. And we got the... It's, it's scan all, too, which is uh, pretty interesting. Bread. I mean, if we stick with that... Oh, God. Guess we're going to see what Cyclone is. I have no clue what that was. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I would guess it's either a mix of like hot steam or uh, or ice wall maybe or wind bomb. It looks like it's an AOE because it has the uh, the really big animation in the background. But I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna run into a few enemies out here. These guys use ice knife. Which, I don't know what that was. It looked weird, though. Oh, wait a second. I think I know what it is. Oh, they don't use it close range. Damn. I think it's uh, it's the rock spell, the, or the base earth one. Basically, it travels at you at a, uh, yep. So, so it's originally with Earth is it throws an orb at you through the air in like an arching, arching uh, path. So you could dodge it by standing right next to your opponent or move to the left or right and it would just keep moving forward. 
So yeah, it's landing to the side of me when I do that. That's so good. Okay. So, Ice Knife is essentially shit. I'm glad we didn't go water. Okay, well that was my bad. It does turn more from a further distance. So... cheat mode listen listen the, the the fun part about this randomizer is I know enough about the spells in this game that I feel like that's my advantage right now like if you play the base game you know how to essentially dodge a lot of spells and whatnot and once you're able to dodge them it's not too bad. Okay, so the guy in the middle, the marionette, he um he has earth level two. We have uh actually I do know what that is. That's ice knife. So that's bad because that can freeze me in place. Um I don't really have much I can do about that though. And yes, this frame rate is normal. It does suck, though. Okay. Didn't get the freeze. That's fine. This frame rate does suck, though. Eight. Okay, I forgot. We're, we're a little lucky on that. When you get too close to him, he just does a melee attack. Most of these enemies in this area do. Man. see oh it still does ones and twos okay so that's not gonna get any better unfortunately it looks like remember those bread remember all that bread we have we all need it for homing attacks Oops, that was silence. I didn't mean to do that. Still not dead? Oi. Ugh. Struggling? Rod of magic? Smack him? Oof. Go for the risk. Nice. Hmm. frame rate. Oh. So these two goblin guys, they use lightning homing arrow level 2, which is whatever would be after burning bolts on mine. So I don't know what that spell is yet. Um 
I'm curious enough to find out, though. Oh, frame rate. I don't know what that was, but that hit really hard. Um, do I really only have one bread left? No, no, we got a few. Okay. They're just up front. It's two really strong hits, and I don't know what they are. Um... Oh, Jesus. So their weakness is water. I don't have a water spell. Um, ugh. I gotta use another bread. If it's just a straight... Mm, it's not a straight attack. I can't dodge it. It hits twice, though. That's what's throwing me off. The only thing that should do that... We're dead. The only thing that should be doing that is Fireball level 2, but we've already... Oh, wait, do they not have level 2 homing arrow? It's just level 1. They're using the move I have. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, never mind. They're not the ones that have level 2. That's someone we see later on. My bad. Doesn't make it any easier. I just don't have an answer for killing them, unfortunately. Um, It's a really strong spell. It's what I've been using for like the past 5-10 minutes. I was kind of hoping we'd avoid a lot of this. A lot of the death and all that. But if we die a few times, it's fine. The run back does get a little tedious depending on where you're at. This one's not too bad. We can just start taking shortcuts and whatnot. But yeah, I am super curious how, uh, what spells are going to be toward the end, which bosses are going to be where. Oops, I completely forgot what their spell was for a minute there. I can dodge them, I know. Just remembering that I can dodge them. And we're frozen, bitch. Um, he's blocking me from hitting the guy behind him. He missed, dumbass. Yeah, let's be honest, Freeze is, uh, is rough. Which is funny, too, because 
Originally, a lot of enemies have freezes, especially early on. The yellow bat things we just fought there, their original base spell is a freeze. So it's funny that they don't have it this time. I wonder if healing level 2 stays in the same spell, same element. I would doubt it, but would make things so much better if it did. Yeah. Damn. I was kind of hoping that would kill. I disagree, that shouldn't have hit me. What do you mean Marionette's not dead? Uh-oh. He should be dead. Oh, of course we missed, we're dead. We're dead, bitch. <gasps> One hit point. We're fine. We need more bread. Stop missing. Try and keep our distance. Damn. I tried, it didn't work. I'll throw some more into Earth. Because the Earth has our, our small heal there. The uh, the higher the level, the more that the heal should work, or the more uh, the more the heal amount is. Plus, it's genuinely been decent so far. And we can't rely on fire for those uh, those goblins because they resist it. Unfortunately. I need this guy dead. He's the only one I'm concerned about. Got him. Damn. Tis fine. Damn. Okay, if we can just hit these two. Nice. Good. What do you mean no level up? I want a refund. Okay, so... This area over here is a secret dungeon that isn't required. But I don't know... Don't know if one of our progression items can even be over there. Um, so I feel like I have to check at the very least. I'm not sure. It's a pretty, uh, pretty rough dungeon normally, though. And I don't remember... believe there's a spirit over here for a magic level. I don't- I don't know this dungeon well enough. There it is. This is one of those ones I... Weaken Entropy. I assume that's AoE defense break. Oh, 
they all use rock level too, so they all have freeze. Uh, let's see what weak in entropy is. AoE defense break. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't really do a lot for me, because defense break doesn't... I don't believe it does anything with magic. It's only for physical hits. And we're frozen now. Oh my god, dude. Please. Oh yeah, it still doesn't do shit anyway. Oh my god. Here, melee, just do it. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, we're not supposed to be in this dungeon, guys. I know that. I mean, it's not even that we're not supposed to be here. Like, the dungeon's here for a reason. You don't normally go back to it. I mean, you can. I need to be careful not to... Not to randomly turn myself like that. Oh my god, dude, just die. How much HP do you need? Oh my god. Didn't even get a level off it. That hurts. Okay, so AoE defense break. Not not going to do much for me, let's be honest. So that's uh that's pretty rough. Not easy if I got to use my my healing items. Oh, there's three again. I know I haven't been doing it yet, but uh, we're gonna run. I don't want to fight those things. Was there a spirit next to this tree? I don't think so. Fire Pillar is Agility Boost. Wait. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I haven't unlocked Fire Pillar yet. Good. Okay, well, you are a Fire Element, though, so... Earth is still pretty useful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, why am I running? You can't even hurt me. Your only attack is an agility boost. There's no reason for me to run from it. Nice. Um. Oh, there's one over here. This is way better than the one I was thinking. Oh, free experience? Yes. Okay, so this is this is nice. Need more fights like this where the enemy only has a stat increase. <laughs> or decrease, I don't care. It's free, dude. It's free. It's free real estate. I mean, technically, agility can still be annoying because we'll just miss a lot, but... I mean, is what it is. They can't hurt me, so... Even if I have to sit there and just waste every turn trying to smack them, we'll eventually hit.
Hmm. I don't know when the next spell unlocks. Let's grab this one. Oh, there we go. Level 16. Okay. So, Hunting Heave. I have no clue what that could be. Perfect enemies to test it on, though. They can't hurt me. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> it's homing arrow level two. The uh, the 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 way the uh, the thing is shooting out, it's definitely homing arrow. That's uh, that's kind of funny actually, and dangerous because we're gonna run into a lot of enemies that have that spell down the line. Hmm. Okay. Um. At least I think I don't. I can't think of anything else it would be besides homing arrow. Unless this one's homing arrow, and and the other one is wind cutter. No, the, the way that last one is delayed, it has to be Homing Arrow. It's gotta be. Because Homing Arrow attacked way slower. Normally. I'm trying to I'm trying to speak as if I know the game really well. I feel like I do, but Okay, screw it, just do this. I'm trying to smack it, it ain't working. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not a professional by any means, but I, I do genuinely feel my knowledge is, is more, more than the average person, maybe, with this game. Maybe. Okay, more than the average person who has played this game. <laughs> Let me rephrase that a little bit. Flaming armor, are you kidding me? That's just the level 2 defense boost, isn't it? I... Of all stupid things for us to unlock, really? I hate this dungeon so much, I have no clue where to go. Um, I want to say the tree uses wind cutter level two, so he should only set. He should just have. Uh, oh yeah, this thing. Yep, it's just defense boost. Yeah, he just has the one wind cutter like the other ones. That's uh pretty relaxing actually. He is wind element though, so. Fire's kind of going to wreck his face. I'm just going to stand here and do, do this. Eventually, they'll all die. But he's got a lot of HP. Gimme. Gimme. I kind of want to start checking another element. But... Like, it takes so much investment to, to see what you're working with. Let's, uh, let's go further into Earth for now. 
Earth isn't that awful right now. It's definitely not the greatest. Isn't there a door for this place or no? Yeah. There's like one item in here. Cool. This room sucks. Back in the old days, where, where houses actually had beds and shit in them, because they wanted to make it almost kind of realistic, devs nowadays just don't give a shit. There's a bunch of a bunch of houses without beds, dude. I it, you you just can't make that shit up. Like, I couldn't tell you the last time I walked in a house in Pokemon, and there was actually enough beds for the people that were in the house. Never. That's when... Oh, my God. This is, uh... Okay, I saw the spirit thing behind him. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. We're just gonna run. I can't. I can't fight this many of them. There it is. I thought there was two, though. Yep, okay. I see them both. Let's grab that. Let's grab this one. Magnet bolts. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, no. No way. What spell do they use? That's magic barrier. That's literally immortality, which... Oh, no. Ah. Uh... Well, no, not in terms of fighting. I want to unlock it. Are you kidding me? I am on the escape line. You froze me. Really? Like, I'm on the line. The worst part, that's the only spell they have. They can only spam immortality. That's, uh, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> yeah, okay, it won't let me in. I didn't think so. Help, help, I'm drowning. I want to say they have homing arrow level 2. So that means the, the immortalities and the fire spells... Call redo that said escape. Hello, camera. Hmm. Unfortunately, homing arrow two is a pretty late spell. I want to say it's like level thirty something. This might uh might take a minute. Yo, what do you have like 170 hit points? Just die, dude. Never see a tree walk. I sure have. And there are quite a few enemies though. That are going to use homing arrows level two, and if that's if that is magic barrier or the uh, the immortality thing, oh, we are going to have a fun time with it. Okay, I think that's everything here. We're just going to leave. Let's get out.
That is super nice, though, all in all. Who would have known that we would have figured out what the spell was? Like, where that... There, there, there's a few other ones that are really important to find out. But Magic Barrier was easily, like, one of the, the first ones that mattered. We never figured out which, uh... Like, obviously, I do have healing now, but we never figured it out from an enemy. But I don't know... Oops, we should be going into the other one. I never used magnet bolts yet, I forgot. Um... We never ran into an enemy that used rolling rock. There is one in the next area. I think. Uh, let's use magnet. I want to see what it is. What was that? I can't even tell, to be honest. I can't tell what the animation is. Oh, it's Wind Cutter level 2. Okay, the part that was catching me was because it's using the, the original animation for the spell. Okay. Okay, okay. It's, um... It's not horrible. It's not great. So it's essentially three hits, but it's a level three spell, so it's... Better than nothing? I mean, damage-wise, what are we looking at? Like, nothing. Okay. It does still suck. It's not a great spell. Have I tried nothing? I haven't. I'm always trying something. Every time, all the time. I'm curious when we're going to discover... Oh, Jesus. Because we're going to be seeing Wind Cutter level 3 soon-ish. I'm curious what that is. Oops. Won't lie, silence on these guys is probably not the best move. Shouldn't be trying that one. Let's, um, we're gonna start putting our levels into fire again. Because I need to both increase the damage of this, and we need to get that immortality. We need it.
as far as other options um as far as like the how the game goes you can randomize um ooh, he uses wind cutter three right no he uses level two never mind he's trash really strong though We'll just dodge it for now, just to be safe. Good. Anaconda's a rare enemy, too. You don't normally see him. But you can, uh, so you can play with experience rates. Item drop rates, you can, you can play with what items can be found wherever. Frog King, what is he? Oh yeah, we determined Large Cutter was Rolling Rock already. I was going to say, what does he use? But I just remembered when I saw that. Because Zels had that move. Ah, uh, you actually can. I will say, I don't know how great that would do. I don't know if there's like some kind of like secret thing that that like um like the I don't know maybe the orbs give more damage or something. I don't know. I don't know what it actually does. I th I thought they were just progression items to be honest. Or at least I think they are. Large cutter is such a trash move in this. That's that's so unfortunate. But we got Zels out of the way early, which is not horrible. Nepti is going to be another one I would like to see earlier than later. She is uh, she is not a fun one for me. I don't know why I stood there. But Nepti has, I think, all unique moves. So there's no chance of anything being randomized. Um... Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think Zels was the only one that actually has a normal attack as part of his toolkit. Hmm. Unique. Okay, who wants to see how to how to how to use the boat? We go in this door. We walk out of this door and now we're in a new spot. That's how this works. That that's literally it. That's the magic. Love it. So good. Uh, we're going to use this in just for safety. I'm going to save just because if I got to, uh, if I got to go back through that area again, that's going to suck. There's maps, right? Yeah, there's a map. So, next place I'm supposed to go, bottom left of that map where it says Cole Hazard, that's the next one we gotta go for. So we're gonna head that way. We could skip, technically, and go to Larapool. Um, which, uh, funny story, as a kid, I've done that many times playing this game. Really bad choice. Like, it is a extremely bad move. Because Larapool is the third dungeon. And if you go there before the second one, you tend to not have enough levels to get through it. And there's a save point midway through it that locks you in there with, like, no way out. And it's just awful. Uh, so these guys have rock level 2, so they can all freeze me. That should be fun. They all have homing attacks that freeze. Isn't it great? What was that? Oh, they also have a defense boost. Oh, what is that then? Wait, no, I have that spell. 
defense boost. It's healing. No, it's rolling rock. Which one is defense boost? Defense boost is the bottom one. It's whatever this is. Did we ever determine what this was? I don't know, actually. It's very odd with the with the stat spells, because normally it's just like a little aura thing. Tearing grasp. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. I don't know what fire, fire, wind was. Hmm. compression but it's an AOE now I don't know so the animation is compression but it's it's triggering hot steam on every enemy it hits That animation, that was another rock spell. So Ice Wall is trash. So this guy... Here, want to see a trick? Watch this. He can't hit me. If I just stand next to this guy, he actually can't hit me. It's... it's that's funny. I love that. I love that we're going to see that kind of stuff all the time. Uh, yeah, so, uh... It, this, it really is just really overpowered. Because I don't... Oops, I wasn't next to him. Like, like, just any kind of AoE is just good. So... Okay, so I see fire level 2 is guard. That's a defense boost. We're gonna run into something called a wyvern at some point. And, uh... They're gonna hurt. Normally they hurt. Let me rephrase that. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're just weak to earth, right? Yeah. But it, their, their main spell is fireball. So... I went the wrong way. God damn it. Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. <sighs> but yeah, no, if, if these wyverns... So they have two spells. It's Fire Pillar and... You guys have Ice Knife and Defense Break. Defense Break is actually Defense Break? 
It's actually hilarious. Oh, didn't we determine Ice Knife was rock? Or, or something? Yeah. So rock level 1, 2, and 3 are all essentially the same animation. So I can't tell you which rock it is, but they're all just an arcing spell thing. Told you to use the boat. We did. This 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 path is really complex, guys. You don't understand. I'm going to be loving this this compression thing forever, dude. I can only imagine this is going to scale really well being at uh, a level 3 spell. I'm in the wrong spot again. Ugh. Also, I never said it earlier, but I think that's Magma Ball. As far as the animation. Because it goes out in like three directions. Pretty sure that's just Magma Ball as a wind cutter. Okay, this is the path because of the stupid log. I remember. I got this. Look at these things again. Oh, whoops. It does so much damage, dude. Like straight up 70 damage sometimes. Which one is Effigy, by the way? Oh, that's the, uh, that's Escape. At least I think they are. I've never tried using these. They have weird names. They might not. Oh, I wonder if the item reflects the spell. Oh. Yeah, so, so Armored Roast is Defense Boost. Yep, okay. So the items are whatever the spell is. So then... At least a way... So this has to be hot steam. Right? Oh, that was shit. It was so weak. Which makes sense because I have no wind element right now. And escape is uh, the wind spell. Hmm. Okay. None of it makes sense. So basically, what would normally be status spells are are now actual. Cures magical banes. No way. Okay, so 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 this one should be defense level two. I think this is heal. No, it's not. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Well, we haven't tested with Celine's bell. It did nothing. Hmm. Mm. 
I'm not sure. But all in all, we're probably not going to find out anyway. Just because most of the status spells are wind element. And I don't really care for them. Or I don't care for wind. It's, uh, it's a rough element. I feel like you don't really run into too many enemies that are weak to it, and just all in all, the damage is normally pretty low. Oops. Oops. What if I get her to escape? I'm sure nothing happens. I'm just in my head, I'm like, she's backing up. I wonder if we can trigger her to leave. a spirit on the side of the house? No? Yes, there it is. Okay, we have a new one. Raging Pyre. I want to see what this is. Yo, it's Extinction! Oh, baby. Yo. Okay. I wasn't sure if it just had really good accuracy. It doesn't normally hit that that well. So the fact it hit twice in a row is actually kind of funny. But, yo. Power staff level 2 is extinction? That's so good. In a funny kind of way, I mean. Um, I have no way of verifying if this save thing is working properly. I hope it does. Because if I have to do this all again tomorrow, it's going to suck. But man, do we know how to cheat now. Okay, so this is a very long dungeon that uh, that no one enjoys. Long enough that I probably shouldn't have started it, if I'm being honest. We'll see. I know my way through it, but it's still a, uh, a lengthy one. Speed run. Funny story, the speed run glitches. I've seen the speed run of this game. Uh, for this particular dungeon, they go out of bounds and they essentially just walk like for, for like 10 minutes just to get out of the dungeon. Also, if it seems like I'm in a lot of fights, I shouldn't be because I'm on half encounter rate. So just imagine the amount of fights I get in, but twice as often. Yeah. This uh this this place here is is like the worst. It's a nice early dungeon too to really get you to love the game.
I think probably the, the, the I, I say a lot of bad things about the game. I, I do love it. One of the rough spots with this is there's no dungeon maps. So like if I pull up the map like I was doing earlier, it just shows me in that location because we're in the dungeon right now. There is no dungeon map and if you escape fights, you can get lost really easily. Because like right now, I turned around. I was originally looking this way. I'm facing this way now. When I kill this enemy. One second. When I kill this enemy, my uh, Brian's going to like jump and turn around. Like that. When you successfully finish a fight, he will always face the direction you were facing before the fight. If you escape, you uh, need to hopefully remember which direction you were facing. A lot of these dungeons look exactly the same. Like, just so much of the aesthetic is, is very... Uh, not easy to, to find your ground. Wait, what? Sorry, something just blew my mind right now. That was homing arrow two for sure. Uh, I thought we determined homing arrow two was. Oh, no. What other spell do those blue goblins have? Where Where is magic barrier? Oh, no. Homing arrow two is just large cutter. Uh oh. Um. Shit. Oh, they have an agility boost, don't they? No, that means it's in the wind, the wind spell tree. I think maybe. Uh oh. Also, this is a uh, large cutter is a very easy spell to dodge, which is funny because uh, normally these guys, there's a very specific like running pattern to dodge the their original move. This is uh, just run left or right. It's really nice because we're going to be seeing these guys a lot here. The little jelly dudes they are going to be showing up a lot. Shit. Do I want to level up wind then? I keep going fire for now. Quicken erupt. That's flame pillar. That's that's the agility boost. We saw that earlier. Ah, man. Shit. Back to using the cheap move. <laughs> it's Sonic. No, they're called Scarecrows. Obviously. It is unfortunate. They're, uh... They're another one of those generic enemies that were given Windcutter level 2, which in this randomizer is Windcutter level 1. Hey. So funny story, we've determined both both of this guy's moves can't hurt me. So that's a defense boost and then he has an agility boost. Both of his attacks, one of the most threatening enemies in this game are both stat, both stat moves. I love it. That's amazing. 
Oh, jeez. It's gonna be a minute. He also has a ton of hit points. Like, we're hitting like 30, 40s. This is, uh, this is like one of those enemies you run from, like, any chance you get. <laughs> normally, normally this is like death to find these guys. And they can spawn as two of them as well. This randomizer, though? Actually, how does this do? Eh, not bad. I saw some 10s and 12s in there. I'll take that. Okay. That does mean, though, he is going to be some good experience for us. We're fighting all of them. I'm going wind. I, 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 I can't. Green wings. Normoon. Oh. That's funny. Um. Those wings I just picked up. That gets me to the end of this dungeon. I actually love that. <laughs> Unfortunately. Again, my progression items in this are still, uh. Still locked in random treasure chests, so I can't just skip this place. Unless we find the, 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 was it Wind Jade? Then we could, potentially. I should have moved. I keep standing there for that. Those, uh, those jelly guys are not... I don't think they're worth the experience. Like, they do give experience, but... Mm, four of them might be worth it. Oops, I thought it was one off. Hey, it's our friend again. All that agility boost. So much missing sounds. Even with the misses, I think it's still doing roughly the same as smacking him every turn. Yeah, it's definitely a lot quicker. So the main goal is I don't want to miss any treasure chests in here. Because that inevitably would mean I have to come back. Potentially. And no one wants to do that.
Yo, missed him twice? Stop that. I feel like we're seeing this guy a lot. If I stay a distance, he might never use the agility boost. Nope, never mind. Doesn't even matter. I can't run far enough away from him. His uh, his movement's just too much. I feel like I can only imagine a world where he just has one hell of a brutal friggin' move set. That was stupid of me. Uh, I just want to kill the little guys. The big guy's gonna do his thing, we can kill him after. There we go. Yeah, starting this dungeon might have been a really bad move. Spoiler, we're not even close to halfway. He's so fast, though. He's so fast with that agility. There's no way I'm there, right? Yeah. Keep going. There's one. Jelly. damage. You punk. I wanted those treasures. Now I have to kill him for him. <laughs> the funny part is in the base game, a situation like this is awful. Is like if you look around me, I can't reach the uh, the escape path because it's it's out of out of range. I'd have to run all the way out and then try and escape. I, I'd essentially be dead here, almost guaranteed. Which would suck.
Damn. Damn. We're looking for Wind Jade. And potentially Water Jewel. I'm not sure. I don't know rules as far as... Because I'm pretty sure you need both to progress. I'm not positive. Oops. I suck at moving left. Okay, midway point. Nice. And now, now for the most exciting part of the dungeon, Civ. See that vine right there? This is it. This is the whole dungeon, guys. <laughs> so the, this uh, this kind of situation with a really long path like this comes up a few times in the game. Uh, this one's a very memorable one. But there's another one later on in like a mine area that you find. And the idea behind it. From from my understanding, anyway, is you see that agility stat right there at the bottom that increases from running around. So in order to force level your agility, the uh, the game kind of has a few situations where you literally are just running. It's it's interesting, but it kind of sucks. I don't know if that's the main reason, but my understanding that is. Whereas the other stats, defenses from taking damage increases, so you know, more you more you get hit, train your defense. HP actually increases a few ways. Uh, defeating a boss will, I believe, give you like 10 hit points by default, which is really nice. Um, you can also, by attacking enemies physically, you can get HP experience. I thought there was a gem up here, or a spirit, my bad. Um, and then I think you also, again, similar to defense, taking damage can also increase your HP. Kind of like a, um, if, you, if you're dying too much, it's a preventative measure to, to eventually help you progress. And then MP just increases from using spells. Which is one of the reasons why healing is so overpowered in this game. Because you can, you can just literally just go into a fight, take a bunch of damage, get out of the fight, heal yourself up, and, and you just get free experience. It's pretty nice. Bitch. I'm sure someone out there will, will will have a more accurate answer on what all that stuff does, but that's my understanding of all the all the stats. Cuz that's really it. You have four stats. HP, MP, defense and agility. That's it. Oh yeah, this is another long long run. When you see a bright white light, we're at the end of the dungeon. It, yeah, there you go. Maybe it was more than halfway. Oh, thank God. 
This place has good music, too. How good's your eyesight? I can never remember where the things are. There it is. There's the other one. Now try and find this on a normal N64's vision. The, uh, the hay fields just have a bunch of random magic levels in them, and you just have to find them. There it is. That might have been it. I can't see shit. Locking Bless. Uh, I'm scared that that's usable right now, actually. Um, because the only spells that should be usable are healing spells, but it says locking. I don't know what that would mean. Mint Leaves. Bell. I want my Wind Jade. That's what we need. Found it. <laughs> That's our progression item, guys. I don't remember if there's other items in here or not. I don't think there is. Okay, this is the inn. Actually, what do you have to say? Does she always just say hidden? Did I, did I not sh toggle the thing for hints or something? Hmm. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, part of me wants to leave the game running because I don't know if it's going to. I don't know if the saves are going to work or not, but we'll see. Right. We'll see. I will probably just leave it running for safety. I'm sure we'll have it done this week. I can't imagine it's going to take me that long, but it might. But then you'll still not know. Well, I don't want to try. Then I gotta redo like two and a half hours of gameplay. Mm. We'll let it go. Let it go. Actually, you know what we could do? Hold on. Where is save state? Save as? Saves. Quest 64 SS. Huh. Got a lot of other ones. Okay. Okay. I'm confident. I'm confident, guys. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, guys. I'm not scared. You're scared. Um. Take care, guys. I'll see you around.